Welcome to this beginner's tips video for Conan Exiles, with me, Jamie from Randomised User. And this Getting Started guide focuses on tips for the very beginning of the game, before you should think about multiplayer, base building, and all that. What to do first. Pick up the starting equipment, then follow the road, taking time to harvest stones and branches in preparation for making your first tools, which we'll discuss shortly. There's not much to find off the beaten path, so keep going along the road past a brief encounter with a winged mob. Keep going until you reach a green verdant area. This will provide raw materials plus mobs to fight. Note that if you die, you won't respawn at the start of the road by the cross. You'll spawn in one of several places near the edge of the desert. Where to find basic raw materials? Stones and branches are found on the ground. Once you have tools, they can also be mined out of larger rocks and cut from trees in larger quantities. Wood can be found by cutting trees, again using tools. Fibre can be found by harvesting these bushes without tools, and from trees using tools. And speaking of tools… How to make basic tools When you first start, you already have the recipes unlocked for stone picks and hatchets. Both require a small amount of stones and branches. Open your inventory, choose the pick, and if you have everything you need, just press craft. Do the same for the hatchet. Now you have access to full-blown wood from trees, as well as a quicker method to gather other stuff, like a lot of stones from these rocks. Later on, tools will require twine as well. This is a crafted ingredient, made from more plant fibre, like this. How to fight basic mobs Right now, the combat system against mobs doesn't really reward clever work with shields and dodging and the like. The attack speeds are too fast, so just keep slashing quickly, preferably at the head. But everything is tough early on, so accept you will die a lot, and work up to being able to unlock a stone sword. These kill an imp in around two strokes and a hyena in four, although this will depend on your own stats. Also remember to let your stamina bar fill to the top before starting a fight. The mobs you find early on are Imps, aggressive and angered from a distance, but only difficult if you don't have a weapon. Young Shalebacks, passive mobs often found near nests of tasty eggs. Antelopes, passive and very fast, a potential meat source once you've unlocked bows, or you're able to trap them in a corner. On the subject of bows, if you didn't already know, you load them by dragging the arrows from your inventory and dropping them onto your bow. Adult Shalebacks – aggressive but only if you get close, slow but quite hard hitting, one of the few animals it's worth using a shield against. Crocodiles – found near water, their attack is lethal and they pursue you doggedly, so stay well away. Ostrich. Aggressive if you get close, and can soak up more damage than you might expect, but best avoided for now. Hyenas. Aggressive, fast and angered from a distance. These are common, and a real pest at first. Give them a very wide berth at first, until you have a stone sword. If you have to fight them, try to avoid activating more than one at once. How to get more recipes. A quick word on recipes now. Like Ark, you gain XP by killing mining, and just existing. Every time you do reach a new level, you get points to unlock new recipes. So if you do see something in this video that you can't craft, you just need to keep on playing until you can. Yeah, I know. When you do have points to spend, go to the recipes screen. Everything in green is a recipe you already know, everything in red is too advanced right now. Anything in yellow though is fair game to learn. This character has already learnt a lot by the way, so there's a lot of green and yellow. Click around to get a feel for the crafting trees. At first, ignore anything about base building and focus on the basics of survival – bedrolls, campfires, etc. If you feel you've unlocked unnecessary recipes and want the points back, remember you can reset and start again by pressing this button. How to cope with death You will die a lot because the game keeps you weak for ages, as you slowly grind up the XP levels. When you die, you don't lose XP or recipes, but you do lose your entire inventory. Your corpse can be hard to find, so don't get too hung up on finding it at this stage of the game. It's often just quicker to regather all your raw materials afresh. 
If you know you're going to die, give yourself a better chance of finding the body by trying to get to a nice clean obvious spot instead of deep grass or whatever. Hopefully they'll add death markers to the game at some point. Work towards unlocking bedrolls, which will make it so that you can control spawn points. Uh, we'll discuss that later. How to get food and water. Both hunger and thirst will kill you if you let the dials at the top reach zero. Water is easy to get, press E when in or near water. If you have a water skin, put it on your hotbar, stand in the water and press the hotkey to fill it up, to give you a longer lasting supply. Food is harder. You can harvest bugs from bushes, but they barely fill you up. Shaleback eggs are quite good, but the nests aren't that common. Once you've levelled up a few times, you can move on to meat, which you get by killing creatures and hacking at the bodies. To actually cook raw flesh into safe meat, you'll need to unlock the campfire recipe first. How to cook meat on the fire. Campfires take a while to make because you'll need loads of stone and wood, so you definitely need a pick and hatchet here. Place the campfire, then interact using E. Drag the raw meat into any slot in the middle, and then some wood into any other slot there. Switch the fire on, and wait. It'll burn through a lot of wood and take a long time to actually cook. As soon as everything is cooked, turn the fire off so as not to waste wood, and take the cooked meat. By the way, raw meat spoils quickly, and even cooked meat spoils eventually, so you'll need to hunt and cook little but often. How to set your spawn point. You won't be able to do this until you've levelled up and learnt how to craft the bedroll. If you haven't levelled up yet, fighting imps with a hatchet and even basic mining will get your XP up. Once you can craft a bedroll, you'll need a lot of plant fibre and will need to turn some of it into twine. Once crafted, place it on some flat, unoccupied ground. Make sure your spawn point is away from danger. You respawn empty handed and enemies will attack you without hesitation. And beware, this bedroll will only work once. When you respawn, the bedroll is used up. You'll need to craft another one. It's not a bad idea to place a wooden box next to your spawn point, containing some backup supplies, including another bedroll. But you'll need to unlock that recipe first. How to survive the night. Nighttime in Conan is pitch black, but that full darkness doesn't last long. Early on, when night is falling, the best strategy is to find an area where aggressive mobs don't spawn, and just wait it out. If you do want to see what's going on, an improvised torch is inexpensive to make and repair, so craft one well before night time. But I don't recommend travelling during the darkness for now, it's way too easy to stumble into a crocodile. Don't be seduced by distant lights during the darkness, they will mostly be camps of aggressive NPCs. In truth, the first NPC camps you come across are fairly weak, but their loot is often terrible and not worth the risk. How to repair your weapons quickly. You'll probably know that you can repair a weapon by clicking on it in your inventory and pressing repair, but since you'll be fighting a lot, it's a lot better to repair on the go. Make sure you keep enough repair materials, such as stones, in your inventory, and whenever the sword breaks, tap the hotbar key and it'll instantly repair. If you don't have enough for a full repair, it'll do as much as it can. The same goes for shields, by the way. Just remember not to try to carry vast quantities of stone and wood. If you carry too much, you won't be able to move. Keep an eye on the anvil icon at the top to see if you're close to that. How to speed things up. If you're playing single player, you are the admin of your own server and can change many, many things, as well as cheat. If you're finding the whole grind too much, don't flat out cheat and ruin the game, but you may want to rebalance the game to reduce the punishing grind and get you learning recipes quicker than before. Simply change the XP multiplier here to a level that feels fair, and you'll soon be levelling up twice as fast, triple as fast, whatever. Maybe the devs will rebalance this officially, but for now a little tweak here can go a long way to making things more fun. How to continue. You will want to build your own basic shelter and base soon, but it's not essential straight away, and even if a sandstorm hits, you can shelter anywhere that looks logically sheltered. But base building, along with most of the rest of the game, is locked behind a grind of levelling up, so we'll stop here. If you found this guide useful, consider subscribing to Randomised User for more Conan stuff, more survival games, and a lot of other indie games. And please check out my Patreon if you want to join the inner circle, whatever that means and possibly something creepy involving togas and paddles. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.